Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another night of exciting Alabama Outlaws X League Arena football here on SouthlandSportsTV.com. I'm Ken Gustafson. We're here once again at the Bill Harris State Fair Arena in Birmingham, Alabama, the home of the Alabama Outlaws. It's been a gorgeous spring day here in Birmingham and hopefully another great night for the Outlaws. They currently have sole possession of second place at 3-1 and one in the X League, a game behind the first place St. Louis Attack, who are undefeated at 4-0. Last week, the Outlaws scored a big road victory against the Florida Marine Raiders by the score of 44-38 to to put themselves in second place. Tonight's game's going to be a little different. They are playing a team that is not in the X League. In fact, this team is not in any league at all. They are the Atlanta Sharks. They are basically a travel team. They have just been put together recently. They are uh, going to be playing a lot of games on the road in probably some other X League teams and maybe some teams in other leagues and until they can find a home facility to play in they currently do not have a home facility they are trying to get one uh, uh, trying to get themselves a home facility talking with coach Lee Ellison today of the Outlaws he, sa he said that the more they play the more experience they get with the indoor game transitioning from an outdoor team to an indoor team the more games they get under their belt the better they're going to get, and they've gotten much better um, in the last last few weeks. And uh, he expects this game to be much more competitive than what we saw two weeks ago when the Outlaws demolished the Savannah Steam right here uh, on Southland Sports TV, 82-8. to Coach Ellison expects a much more competitive game. Okay, let's get you the starters for both teams. First for the visiting Atlanta Sharks, coached by Marcus James. Starting on offense, the quarterback is Justin Geitler. He's number three. We may see Hendrick Clark, the backup quarterback. He wears number 48. The running back is A.J. Jones, number 29. The wideout is number 19, Corey Albert. The other wide receiver, Winston Johnson, wears number 82, as does number uh, number 88, Rashad Tukes, also another wideout. They have three wideouts on the squad. The center is Tino Rowland, number 55. The right guard, Wayne Posey, number 78. Number 57, the left guard is Casper Jefferson. On defense for the Sharks, um, the uh, right end is D. Brown. He wears number 54. Mike Wilson, number 39, is the left end. The Another defensive back for the Sharks, Orlando Norman, wearing number 44. The jack linebacker is Pentrez Denham. He wears number 43. The far center, I guess they call it, um, another uh, cornerback, I should say, uh, is Gary Williams. He's number 38. Another cornerback is Deshaun Hawkins, number 23. And the defensive specialist is P.J. Thomas. He wears number 28. The Sharks are dressed out in, in yellow jerseys and black pants. Now your starters for the Alabama Outlaws. Number, uh, number 10, of course, is the quarterback, Garrett Sutphin, having an excellent season so far. He has a 50% completion rating, but he leads the league in yards passing at 587 yards. He's 41 of 82, 587 yards, 11 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. The, ru the, main, the uh, running back is going to be um, Rob Taylor. He's the running back for the uh, Alabama Outlaws. He wears number 20. Also, Marcellus Wilder, number five, he is a wide receiver. He leads the he leads the X League in receptions, in receiving. He has 21 receptions for 322 yards, 15.33 yards per carry, eight touchdowns. His longest catch is 47 yards. Also, Teron Retta, also starting at wide receiver. He's number one. He is out of uh, Jacksonville State. He has eight receptions, 130 yards. 16.25 yards per carry, two touchdowns, his longest being 44 yards. Byron James starting at cornerback. Tracy Brooks starting at defensive specialist. Uh, Kent Ingram uh, is not starting. He might see some time. Chris Campbell, the kicker out of North Alabama. Adam Flanagan will be starting at safety. Robert McCoy starting at guard out of uh, Cahoma Community College. Number 67, Sean Johnson is out with an injury, as is number 54, Montreal Daniel. He is also out. Wayne, Will Wayne Williams also has a knee injury. He will not see time tonight, as uh, is the case with Dion Lester. He also is out with an injury. William Young is the defensive end. He starts at defensive end. 
6'2", 350-pounder out of Georgia Military College. Number 69, Robert Stevens, the center. He's uh, 6'2", 340 out of Miles College. 74, Michael Calvin starting at nose guard. Uh, 6'7", six, six 352-pounder out of Alabama State. Zach Davis at guard, University of North Alabama product. Number 55 and number 57, I mean. And Gerard Jones, he's at start, he's, he gets the start at defensive end. He's having a great season. He has 19 tackles and two sacks on the season. He'll get the start at defensive end out of Irwin High School here in Alabama. Artarius Jones, uh, he might see some time. He will not start. John Stellman starting at wideout for Alabama. Rob Taylor starting at fullback. Courtney Daly starting at linebacker for the Alabama Outlaws. Byron James starting at cornerback. And that and Adam Flanagan starting at safety. Teron Retta, as mentioned earlier, starting at wide receiver. And, of course, Garrett Sutton starting at quarterback. The Alabama Outlaws coach is Lee Ellison. So those are your starters for both the Atlanta Sharks and the Alabama Outlaws. And they are dim, they've dimmed the lights here to uh, announce the starting lineups over the PA system for the fans. And we welcome all of you, no matter where you're watching and listening, around the nation, around the world here on SouthlandSportsTV.com. We welcome you. We're glad you're here. Tonight is Breast Cancer Awareness Night. A lot of people uh, dressed out in pink. Uh, this is also Relay for Life weekend as well. So they are uh, having a special emphasis on remembering those who are, who are suffering from that terrible disease, uh, cancer, tonight being Breast Cancer Awareness Night. Awareness Night here at the Alabama Outlaws game here in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, as mentioned earlier, Alabama Outlaws coming into this game at 3-1 and one in the X League and second place behind the first place St. Louis Attack. If you recall, about four weeks ago, the St. Louis Attack came in here and beat the Outlaws 58-39. to 39. Um, Just a very difficult uh, game for the Outlaws. A lot They committed a lot of turnovers and penalties. Fortunately, uh, had a good game the following week. A, a great game, I should say, against the Savannah Steam. A total blowout, 82-8 to was the final of that game. And then last week, a big road victory over the Florida Marine Raiders, who started out the season in first place at 2-0. They have dropped their last two and their second loss in a row being to the Outlaws last week in Lakeland, Florida, 44-38. They're announcing the starting lineups right now as, you, as you're watching on the Internet at SouthlandSportsTV.com. Again, wherever you may be, around the nation, around the world, perhaps you're in the military, and especially you military folks out there, we thank you so much for all that you do. And we are so happy to be able to bring you this exciting brand of arena football. A lot of different rules in this type of a game than what you might see in the AFL or cer and certainly in uh, the NFL or, or any other football leagues. They're going to start out the game here with what's called the X-Dash. One player from each team is going to lie down on the floor at the 20-yard line. They're going to place two balls at the 25-yard line at midfield. And at the whistle, both players are going to get up, run to the 25, get the balls, and run to the end zone. And the player that wins the race to the end zone, his team not only gets the ball to start the game, but he also gives his team two points to start the game. So somebody's going to jump on the board even before the kickoff. So it's, it's going to be two to, two to nothing, either in favor of the Sharks or the Alabama Outlaws before the kickoff even starts. Also, with a minute to go in the game, they bring in what's called the X ball. And if every, every score is actually double, a touchdown is not six points, it's 12 points. An extra point is not one point, it's two points. A two-point conversion is not two points, it's four points. That's with a minute to go in the game. So. If you're within 16 points and you're trailing within 16 points, you still have a chance to win. And we saw this back on March the 3rd, the very first X-League game played up in Dalton, Georgia. The Alabama Outlaws trailed the Georgia Rampage by 13 points, 43-30. to 30. 
They scored a touchdown with just seconds to go to take the lead and win that ball game. And both teams, of uh, the Alabama Outlaws and the Georgia Rampage, have gone separate directions. The Alabama Outlaws, as I mentioned earlier, are 3-1 and one in second place in the X League. The Georgia Rampage are 0-4 in last place in the X League. So the refs are at midfield, and we've announced the starting lineups. And we await the national anthem about to be sung here. Again, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Night. All of these staff and even, even the face masks of the helmets of the Outlaws are pink. The Outlaws are dressed in uh, pink socks with, with uh, green, as you can see, green pants and white and uh, white and light, white and light green, excuse me, black and white green jerseys. The Atlanta Sharks in their yellow jerseys and black pants. So we're glad to be with you. Another exciting night of Alabama Outlaws X League Arena Football. I want to thank Pac Patrick Glory of SouthlandSportsTV.com. He's the boss, and uh, we're glad to be out here with you. He's running the cam He's running, running the, uh, running the whole operations right now. Also doing some camera work. Also Tim Connor, uh, doing some camera work as well for us. We want to thank. All, we want to thank the people here in Alabama, here in Birmingham, here at the Bill Harris Arena for all for the wonderful hospi hospitality that they've shown in the last few weeks that we've been here doing Alabama Outlaws football games. So they are announcing the starting lineup still for the Alabama Outlaws. And we got four games to go here in the X League. Tonight, as mentioned, the Alabama Outlaws playing outside the league. They're playing the the uh, Atlanta Sharks, the Sharks who don't who don't belong in any league right now, looking for a place to play, looking for a home facility. As of right now, don't have one, so they're having to travel and basically play play up play all kinds of teams to uh, to get themselves acclimated to the X League game. And so it's going to take some time for the Sharks. But, uh, again, Coach Lee Ellison of the Alabama Outlaws told me earlier he expects a more competitive game than what the Savannah Steam gave, gave them two weeks ago. We sh he, he doesn't think it's going to be an 82-8 to blowout like we saw two weeks ago. So the Alabama Outlaws are going to have to play beyond their A game. They're going to have to play solid football tonight. They played very well of late. Last three weeks, they've got two weeks, uh, three wins in a row against the, or I should say two wins in a row against the Savannah Steam and then the, uh, again, against the Florida Marine Raiders last week down in Lakeland. So the starting lineups being mentioned, we'll have the National Anthem in a couple of minutes here, and then we'll have the X-Dash and then the kickoff and they're going to have the national anthem right now, actually. Moment of silence for the men and women in the armed forces who fight for our country.
teams will lie down on their backs at the 20 yard line. Balls will be placed at the 25, which is midfield. At the sound of the ref's whistle, all players will get up and run and pick up the balls and run to the end zone. The winner of the race not only gives his team the ball to start the second, the first half to start the game, his team gets two points to start off. So before the kickoff, it's already going to be 2 nothing in favor of somebody. So we will see. Right. So glad that you could join us. MAB, Birmingham area, the state of Alabama, and the state of Alabama. You are watching Marcellus Wilder of the Outlaws and Justin Weitler of the Sharks and the 20 yard Looks like these two guys are going to race through the end zone in the X Dash. Ref is talking to uh, Geithner about something. Not sure what, what he's talking to him about. But, uh, now, uh, PA announcer is interviewing Marcel Wilder for the game, asking him if he's ready. Now he's asking uh, Justin Geithner if he's ready. So it appears everybody's ready. Ball's at the 25-yard uh, line. Now both guys are going to get on their backs. They're facing the opposite direction of the ball. Now when the whistle blows, they're both going to get up and run right. to the balls. And then race to the end zone. Here we go. Oh, Justin got there with a bit of a false start here. the whistle and they're off and they're off. Geithner picks it up but Marcellus Wilder beats him to the end zone. Marcellus Wilder wins the X match and the Alabama Outlaws take the lead 2-0. Geithner appeared to stumble a little bit and that gave Wilder the advantage there and he runs into the end zone, wins the X dash and gives his team two points and so the Outlaws will receive the ball. Most likely, I would think, they receive the ball to start the game. Garrett Sutfin, starting quarterback for the Outlaws coming into this game, leads the league in passing yardage. 587 yards he has thrown. 41 out of 82. Completion 41 for 82. 587 yards, 11 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. He's going to try and cut down on those interceptions tonight for sure and try and put up some more touchdowns for his team. Here we go. And actually, there was not going to, there's not going to be a kickoff. It appears that the Outlaws have decided to go on defense to start the game. The Atlanta Sharks are going to go on offense. The ball is going to be placed at the five-yard line. So here we go. Another exciting night of X-League football. Here's Geitler under center. He waits the snap. Geitler back to pass. He runs, and he gets, he gets almost nowhere, and he is tackled by number 60, that's Robert McCoy. He maybe got a yard, if that. Did not get much at all. The Alabama defense has been playing very well of late, particularly McCoy. Rob Taylor, who doubles as a fullback, and on the defensive line for Alabama, 
Also has 19 tackles and two sacks on the season. So they got one yard. Here's Geithner under center for the Sharks. With the six yard line, Geithner back to pass. His throw is almost intercepted. Wow, Tracy Brooks had a beat on that ball. He really should have caught that pass. It went off his chest, it looked like. Uh, incomplete pass for Justin Geithner and the Sharks. It's gonna be third down. Third down from the six yard line. The Atlanta Sharks coached by Marcus James. This team just got together recently playing without a lead, not a member of any league. Here's third down. Geitler back to pass. Geitler gonna run for it. Geitler gonna get the 10, the 20, the 25. And Geitler across the 25 to about the 27 yard line. Nice run there by Justin Geitler, the starting quarterback for the Sharks. The Outlaws had him pick, pinned back down at the six yard line, but Geitler saw the hole and rushed it all the way up to the 27 yard line. So first and 10 for the Atlanta Sharks from the 27. Coach Ellison told, told me earlier, earlier this afternoon that he expects a more competitive game than they saw against the Savannah Steams and it looks like we might get that. Okay, Geithner in shotgun. Geithner back to pass. He's gonna throw a long bomb into the end zone. Nobody there. Looks like a lack of communication of some sort. I think he expected one of his wide receivers to, to uh, bolt into the end zone, but nobody was there. No, not even an Alabama outlaw defender was there. So it's gonna be second and 10 from the uh, Alabama 27. Geitler, the starting quarterback for Atlanta. His running back, the starting running back is number, let's see here. We have a timeout. Have a timeout on the field. Meanwhile, again, want to thank everybody who's tuning in, whether you may, whether, no matter where you are around the country, around the nation, around the world, on SouthwestSportsTV.com. 12-18 to go in the game. We have a timeout on the, on the field. It's 2-0 Alabama. They won the X-Dash. Marcellus Wilder winning the X-Dash, racing to the end zone with the ball. So the Alabama Outlaws get the two points right off the back. A lot of interesting rules in this in this game. If you get a if the defensive team gets a sack, that's two points. If they get an interception, that's two points. If they get an interception, run back for a touchdown, that's eight points because you get the six points plus the defensive play. So really, a lot of gimmicks to try and get get everybody involved. But it shows one, th and especially the X ball near the end of the game with a minute to go, you're never out of it if you're trailing. If you're trailing by 16 points or less, you're never out of it, really. And it's incumbent on the offensive team, the team that's ahead, they gotta bring it every down. Okay, here we go. Second down, Geithner back to pass. Geithner scrambles, he rushes, he moves up across the 20 yard line, down to about the 15. So another nice run by Justin Geithner. And the Atlanta Sharks are on the move. 12 minutes to go in the game. Ball is placed at the 12 yard, at about the 12, the 12 yard line, let's call it. Twelve yard line. Here's Geitler. He's waiting for the snap. Geitler back to pass. Goes over the middle. It's tipped, but it's caught. Caught by number 80, number 88. Caught by number 88 of Atlanta. And that is Rashad Tooks. Tooks with a nice reception. Ball was deflected. Couldn't see exactly who deflected it for Alabama, but caught by Rashad Tooks. And the ball now is placed at the four yard line and the Atlanta Sharks are poised to put it in the end zone and take the lead. Alabama at three and one in the X League, a game behind the first place St. Louis attack at four and oh. Here we go, first and goal from the four. 
Geitler under center. He wastes the snap. Geitler gonna, gonna try and run, but he is met right away and pushed back and thrown down by number 55, that's Gerard Jones. Gerard Jones now with his, uh, his third sack of the season. Gerard Jones playing outstanding ball for the Alabama Outlaw defense in the past few weeks. So the ball moved all the way back. Uh, not Well, uh, maybe a yard or maybe about two yards back down to the six-yard line. They gave him forward progress a little bit. So the loss of two yards is going to be second and goal from the six. Here's Geitler under center. His running back to his to his left. Geitler is going to run for it. Geitler going to run across the four, the five-yard line. And he probably got one yard, maybe two. Maybe got to the four. Let's see where they spot it. It's going to be at the four-yard line. So third and goal from the four. Don't know if they have a field, uh, field goal kicker for the Savannah, it's supposed to be the Atlanta Sharks. So it's going to be interesting to see if they score a touchdown, what they're going to do. Again, this roster just recently put together. And they're basically traveling around the country playing excellent teams and perhaps other, other uh, arena football teams. Here we go. Third and, third and four. Third and goal from the fourth. And Geithler's pass is incomplete. He was trying to get it to number 82, Winston Johnson. But the pass was too low. So it's going to be fourth down. Let's see what the Atlanta Sharks decide to do. Coach Marcus James talking to his quarterback, Geithler. Discussing what you're going to do in this next play. Just outside the five yards. Looks like they're going to go for it. go in the first quarter. Clock is running. Okay, here we go. Geithler in shotgun formation. Here goes. Back to pass. Geithler. Geithler going to roll to his left. He's going to throw it and it's knocked away. Some defensive play by number 16, Courtney Daly. Courtney Daly disappointed though because he had a sure interception he thought. And the Alabama Outlaws are going to get the ball back. Nice play by the Alabama defense. So the Sharks up, Sharks over on downs. And also, if you, get, if you make a defensive play, that's one point. I, I, I make a correction. Earlier I said it was two points. It's actually one point on a defensive play. I think it's... This was a deflection. So it's 3-0 Alabama. Boy, a big, big break for the Alabama Outlaws. And a, just a huge momentum deflator for the Atlanta Sharks. They got the ball first and goal from the four and can't do anything with it. Turn the ball over to the Alabama Outlaws. If you recall, two weeks ago the Savannah Steam won the X dash to go up 2-0, but it was all Alabama after that as Alabama rolled 82-8. Okay, here's Sutton. He gives it to his fullback. That's number 20, Rob Taylor, but right away the, the Atlanta Shark defense is there to wrap him up. No gain for Rob Taylor. It's going to be second and 10 for the Alabama Outlaws at their own five-yard line. So here come the outlaw offense. Sutfin in shotgun formation standing in the end zone. He wastes the snap from his center. Sutfin back to pass. Throws over the middle. It's complete to Marcellus Wilder at the 10 yard line. So Wilder gets five yards. He's going to be third and five 
for the Alabama Outlaws. Clock running, 5.51, 5.50. Outlaws in no hurry, though. Outlaws winning last week over the Florida Marines. Big road bridge down in Lakeland, Florida. Here we go. Third and five from the 10. Reda in motion. Here's Sutton's long pass. It is fun. No, or is it? Let's see. It is incomplete. Incomplete pass. He had Wilder on the far sidelines along the boards, but a nice defensive play by the Savannah Sharks. The Atlanta Sharks. Very good defensive play by the Sharks. And it's going to be third down, actually. I thought it was second down. It's going to be third down. Third down from the 11-yard line. Third and 10 for the Outlaws. Here's Sutton under center. He pitches the ball to the left side over to Wilder, and Wilder brings it up almost to the 10-yard line. Looks like that's going to be enough for a first down. So it is a first down for the Alabama Outlaws at the 18-yard line. Sutton in shotgun formation. He's got Wilder to his, to his right. Sutton back to pass. Throws a long pass in the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown! Touchdown, Alabama! Touchdown, Alabama! That's Toreen Retta. Teron Retta with the touchdown reception. And the Alabama Outlaws extend their lead to 9-0. Great protection from the Alabama offensive line. And Sutton was able to throw it right into the arms of Teron Retta for the touchdown. Chris Campbell coming on for the extra point for Alabama. 3-12 remaining. 309-308 clock is running. And Alabama about to extend their lead to 10-0. Here's Chris Campbell with the extra point. And Campbell's kick is no good. So Campbell unable to make the extra point. And with 2.48 to go in the first quarter, the Alabama Outlaws lead the Atlanta Sharks 9-0. We're going to take a break right now. You're listening to X League Football here on SouthlandSportsTV.com. We're back here at the Bill Harris Arena in Birmingham, Alabama, where the Alabama Outlaws just extended their lead to 9-0 thanks to a, to a touchdown pass from Garrett Sutfin to Teron Retta, his third touchdown reception of the season. The extra point was no good, but the Alabama Outlaws have a 9-0 lead over the Atlanta Sharks from 2.48 to go in the game. The Atlanta Sharks were poised to score a touchdown. They had the ball down at Alabama's four-yard line, but the Alabama defense stiffened, got the ball back, and were able to score on their next position. Now, 
We await Chris Campbell's kickoff. It's a high kickoff that hits the scoreboard. And the whistle blows. And let's see where they spot the ball. The ball hit the scoreboard. It's not a very high ceiling here. So, unlike other arenas that I can think of, it's a very low ceiling. So the, the line drive kickoff hit the bottom of the scoreboard and the ball is going to be placed at the 20 yard line for the Savannah Sharks, excuse me, the Atlanta Sharks, he calls them Savannah, the Atlanta Sharks. Actually a pretty impressive offensive drive by the Sharks on their last possession even though they didn't score. So we have a new quarterback, this is Hendrick Clark. He's a quarterback now, back to throw, Clark. Gonna throw a long pass and it's overthrown. He was trying to get it to number 88, Rashad Toots, but just beyond the reach of Toots. And so it's gonna be second and 10 from the 20 yard line for Atlanta. The Sharks coached by Marcus James. Again, they are not a member of any league at all. They are a, they are a travel team that is playing on the road, several X-League teams and some other arena teams try and get some experience and maybe join the X-League. Okay, second and 10. Clark's pass is complete, but not very much. I don't think he got any yardage. He completed the pass to number 19. That's Corey Albert. Albert with the reception. But he, actually, I think he lost, the yard, lost yardage on that play. Good defense by Alabama. Ball is placed at the 18 yard line. So loss of two is gonna be third and 12 from the 18 yard line of Atlanta. 32 seconds to go, 31, clock is running. Atlanta in no hurry to get a playoff here. Let's see, they're gonna, are they gonna get a playoff for 420 seconds? Here's Clark in the shotgun formation. And he gets the snap, Clark back to pass, throws over the middle, it's intercepted! Intercepted by Alabama! Intercepted. Intercepted by Adam Flanagan. And he returns it down to the 23 yard line of Atlanta and gets his team another point. It's 10 nothing Alabama as the first quarter ends. A big turnover by Atlanta. Hendrick Clark throwing an interception. And we're gonna take a break. You're watching X League Football here on SouthlandSportsTV.com. We're back here at the Bill Harris Arena in Birmingham, Alabama, where the Alabama Outlaws have extended their lead to 10-0 on an interception by safety Adam Flanagan. Because of the interception, he gets, Alabama gets a point. It's one of the many different rules here in the X League. A, de a defensive play gets you a point for your team. So it's 10-0, and Alabama has the ball at the Atlanta 20-yard line. And wow, a, free, a fumble ruski or a fake, a fake of some sort, and Rob Taylor rushes the ball all the way down to the 12-yard to the line. Wow, that was an interesting play. 
Sutton fake the pass, hand it off to his uh, fullback, Rob Taylor. Taylor gets the ball all the way down to about the 13-yard line. So Alabama in business once again, ready to put more points on the board. The Alabama defense coming up big in this game so far. Big interception by Adam Flanagan. Okay, here we go. First and goal from the 13 of Atlanta. Sutton, Sutton in shotgun formation. Rob Taylor in the backfield. Sutton's pass is caught, and I think it's a touchdown. Let's see. Just short of the goal line. Marcellus Wilder with the catch, but he is just short of the goal line. Ball is at the one yard line. And just like that, Alabama about to blow this one wide open, it seems, once again. Of course, it is early. A lot of things can happen. The Sharks have shown the potential to move the football and score. Okay, here we go. First and goal for the one. Robert Stevens, the center. Sutton awaits the snap. Sutton, he gets it. He rolls to his right, and he is, he fights his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Garrett Sutton with the rushing touchdown. And Alabama is up 16 to nothing. So a costly turnover by the Atlanta Sharks gives Alabama an extra seven points, extra point pending. It's 16-0 Alabama. You just can't turn the ball over in this league. Because these teams, like Alabama and other teams in the X League, have potent offenses and, and can score right away. Okay, here's Campbell's point attempt. He missed his first extra point attempt. Here's the snap, the hold, the kick is up. And the kick is no good. Wow, Chris Campbell struggling with extra points. That's the second missed extra point of the night. The University of North Alabama product struggling with extra points here in the early going. But Alabama has a 16-0 lead nonetheless. 12.21 to go. We're going to step it out. You're watching X-League Football on SouthwestSportsTV.com. back here at Bill Harris Arena where the Alabama Outlaws have scored another touchdown thanks to Garrett Sutton. He rushed it in from 10 yards out and it's 16 nothing. Here's Chris Campbell's kick. It's into the end zone and it's run out by Winston Johnson of the Sharks. Johnson gets it all the way to the 16 yard line. Nice return there by Winston Johnson. And we got a little skirmish here going on between, John, between uh, Gerard Jones of the Outlaws, and let's see, do we have a penalty? I thought I saw a penalty flag thrown. Let's see. Had a little skirmish there with between, uh, looks like it's gonna be unsportsmanlike, con uh, unsportsman unsportsmanlike conduct, but I think it's gonna be offsetting penalties. Let's see what the refs decide. Gerard Jones was mixing it up with, uh, Number 44, Orlando Norman. And 
Yeah, it's going to be offsetting. Unsportsmanlike conduct against number 19 of the Sharks, Corey Albert. And that puts the Sharks back at their own four yard line. Costly penalty there by the Atlanta Sharks. And they're going to learn quickly that in this league, that you play teams in this league, in the X League, that you can't commit penalties because they will make you pay. So the Sharks in a deep hole, not only down 16 to nothing, but also having to start from their own four yard line. But on their first possession, they have shown the ability, they showed the ability to move the football. So they have the ability to move the football and the Alabama defense is going to have to continue to play their A game like they've been doing in order to get a win, in order to get a win tonight. So far so good for Alabama. Okay, first and uh, first and ten from the four. Kendrick Clark at quarterback. He's going to hand it to his running back and a big hole. This is number 29 for the Sharks. And he gets it all the way across the 20-yard uh, line of Alabama. It's interesting here. This gentleman's name, his number is not even on the roster. He's number 29 for Atlanta. Yes, yes it is, here it is, running back A.J. Jones. A.J. Jones, the running back for the Sharks, and he rushes it all the way down to the sixth, to about the 17 yard line. Nice run by Jones there. And now they give the ball to Jones again, and oh, a nice wrap up there. Gerard Jones of Alabama there on the stop. Also on the stop is Robert McCoy. So good defense there, good interior defense there by Alabama. So it's going to be second down, second down and ten. It didn't look like uh, AJ Jones got any yardage on that on that last play. So second and ten from the 17 yard line of Alabama. Again, this Atlanta Shark team does have some offensive weapons as we, as we can see here. Here's Clark. Clark's going to roll to his right. Clark's to the 10, the 5. Clark is uh, along the boards. He's wrapped up. And, oh, boy, it looks like we got a penalty, and a, it's going to be against Alabama. And just not, just not a smart move there by uh, number 8 for Alabama. That's Tracy Brooks. Looked like he threw a punch against uh, Clark. Looked like he... he Yep. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Tracy Brooks. He was trying to wrap up uh, Jones and just kind of threw a threw a little punch to the head. It looked like. So, costly penalty there for Alabama. Now Atlanta has the ball at the three-yard line. First and goal. Here's Clark. He's going to rush it in for the touchdown. Kendrick Clark gets the score for Atlanta. And the Sharks get on the board at 16 to six. So it started out with a big, about a big 30 yard run by running back A.J. Jones of Atlanta. We got a timeout on the field here. Let's see, are we gonna go to a break or not? Yes, we are. We're gonna take a timeout. Your score, 16 to six, Alabama, with 8:56 to go in the second quarter. You're watching, you're watching X League Arena football here on SouthlandSportsTV.com.
We're back here at the Bill Harris Arena. Injured player for Alabama, number 74, offensive lineman, My uh, Mal defensive lineman Michael Calvin. Injured. He is walking off on his own power. He's walking with the trainer back to the locker room. He seems to be okay. But right now, as Kendrick Clark scored on a rushing touchdown, the two-point conversion is no good. And the score remains 16 to six. So a nice start here in the second quarter for the Savant, the Atlanta Sharks. About a 30 yard run by running back A.J. Jones, getting the ball all the way into Alabama territory. And then an unsportsmanlike conduct by Alabama on Tracy Brooks with the ball further. And then quarterback Kendrick Clark able to punch it in for the score to make it 16 to six Alabama. So that's where we are right now, 8.40 to go in the first half. Alabama Outlaws up 16 to six. Good game so far, Coach Ellison was right. This is a much more competitive game than what we saw with the Savannah Steam two weeks ago when Alabama rolled 82 to eight. So, Savannah Steam, excuse me, the Atlanta Sharks, getting the teams mixed up here. The Atlanta Sharks are waiting to kick off to the Alabama Outlaws. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Night here in Birmingham. A lot of people dressed in pink. In fact, the Alabama Outlaws, their socks, they're in pink socks, and their face masks, their face masks, as you probably see, the face masks are in pink as well. So the Atlanta Sharks have to be pleased with themselves to be able to get a touchdown here against this Alabama defense. That gives them confidence. And the Alabama Owlers are going to try and jump back and get, get a bigger lead here. Going to try and get, get some more points on the board. They've got to respond. They don't want to give the Sharks any momentum. You don't want to lose to a non-league team. You don't want to lose to a team that's not in the league. Or at least technically not in the league. Although this Atlanta Shark team does appear to have the talent to compete with excellent teams. So here we go, we await the kickoff. Number 57, Casper Jefferson is going to kick it as a uh, grounder picked up by Adam Flanagan. Flanagan at the 25, Flanagan across the 25, pushed up against the boards. And we got Cowley. Cowley on the side of the sky. That's number 38 of the Sharks. Gary Williams. Gary Williams is kind of picked up Flanagan and slammed him down. Let's see what the uh, call is. Number 38 of these, the Atlanta Sharks, Gary Williams. Things getting a little chippy here. We had a couple of had. We've had now three dead ball personal fouls. Two against the Atlanta Sharks. One against the Alabama Outlaws. Both teams have got to play with poise and keep their emotions in check. Okay, so it's first and ten from the. Atlanta 15 yard line. And the whistles are blowing, excuse me, the ref. And we have a timeout. Timeout on the field. We'll be back. The score is Alabama 16, Atlanta 6. You're watching X League football here on SouthlandSportsTV.com.
We're back here at Bill Harris Arena. The Alabama Outlaws with the ball at the Atlanta 15 yard line. And Sutton's pass is complete along the boards. Complete to Marcellus Wilder. And he got about maybe uh, eight yards. The ball is going to be placed at the eight yard line of Atlanta. Second and goal from the eight, Sutton. In shotgun, Sutton back to pass. He rolls to his right, he's still rolling, he throws, and it is caught. Touchdown, touchdown Alabama. Marcellus Wilder, the league's leading receiver, catches the touchdown pass. That is now his, that's his ninth touchdown reception on the season, and Alabama has a 22 to six lead. So just like that, the Outlaws get another touchdown and put more points on the board. Here's Chris Campbell. He's been struggling with extra points tonight. He's 0 for 2. He's going to try and knock one home here. Here's the snap. Here's the hold. Here's the kick. It's up. It's good. So Chris Campbell gets off the snide and knocks in the extra point. It's 23 to 6. Alabama with 6.30 to go in the first half. We're gonna, we're gonna step it out here. You are watching Alabama Outlaws X League on SouthSportsTV.com. Here's Alabama outlaw quick kicker Chris Campbell. His kickoff is out of the end and out of the end zone. But the Alabama outlaws have a 23 to six lead thanks to a touchdown reception by Marcellus Wilder. His ninth touchdown reception of the season. Garrett Sutphin's 12th touchdown, excuse me, 14th touchdown pass of the season. So Sutphin with 14 touchdowns passing touchdowns on the season, and Marcellus Wilder with nine touchdown receptions on the season. And the Alabama Outlaws have a 23-6 lead over the Atlanta Sharks. And you, it doesn't take too much, it, you know, it, it doesn't take too much any kind of mistake, a bad penalty, unsportsmanlike contact to get the other team the momentum to score and give them chance to score. Okay, here are the Sharks on offense. Clark is going to make a long throw. It's incomplete. Looked like he had number 19. He was trying to get it to, to Corey Albert, but Albert appeared, ran the wrong route, and it's going to be second and 10. 23-6 Alabama. The Outlaws on a roll. They've won two straight. Wins over the, uh, a blowout win over the Savannah Steam two weeks ago right here, 82 to eight, and then a big win down in Florida over the Marine Raiders, 44-38. Second and 10 for Atlanta from the 20 yard line. Here's Clark, Hendrick Clark with a long pass. It's caught. The catch is made by number 88, Winston Johnson, down at the four yard line. And just like that, the Atlanta Sharks are poised to put the ball in the end zone. 
The, this Atlanta Shark team has weapons. You can already tell they've got offensive weapons. And they got some pot they got a potent offense and the ability to score. They had a chance early, early in the game, but they couldn't put the ball in the end zone. They turned the ball over. First and goal from the four for Atlanta. Here's Clark. He's going to run it in. Touchdown. Touchdown, Atlanta. And just like that, the Atlanta Sharks cut the Outlaws' lead to 11 points. They don't have a field goal kicker, the Atlanta Sharks, so they're going to have to go for two every time. And that's going to be maybe put them at a disadvantage in one way. So they're going to go uh, go for two. Here's Clark waiting to snap. And we got a false start there. Wow, Gerard Jones was <laughs> in the backfield ready to, ready to uh, snuff out Clark's uh, reception. Hendrick Clark was wait, waiting to receive the ball. Yeah! Gerard Jones was already in the backfield, but a false start against Alabama. It's going to move the ball down to the two-yard line for Atlanta. So we will retry the two-point conversion. 3.16 to go in the first half. Alabama has a 23-12 lead, but the Sharks trying to add to their two-point conversion. Here's Clark. He's going to dump it to number 29, and let's see. It's hard to tell if he got in. No, he did not get in. He was stopped at the one-yard line. So the two-point conversion is no good. But this, the Atlanta Sharks do score, and it's 23-12 to in favor of Alabama with 2.55 to go in the first half. But the Atlanta Sharks, very impressive on their last couple of offensive drives, able to move the football very quickly. So this Alabama outlaw team, is going to have to be on the going to have to bring their half and throughout the second half if they want to win. The Atlanta Sharks have come here to play even though they don't have a league to call their home. They don't even have their own home facility. But they do have talent and they are showing it tonight. Okay, we await the Atlanta Sharks kickoff. Their kickoff guy is Casper Jefferson. He's also the left guard on the team. Again, tonight is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Awareness Night. Everybody decked out in pink. The, the uh, face masks of the outlaw players. Here's the kickoff. Long kickoff. And it's received in the end zone by Rob Taylor. Taylor brings it out up to the 15-yard line. Nice return there. And the Outlaws will be in business at their own 15-yard line with 2.32 2 to go in the, in the first half. Again, want to thank all of you out there watching and listening, no matter where you may be. If you're in the Birmingham area, in the state of Alabama, around the nation, if you're back in Atlanta, maybe you have some, uh, maybe you're a relative of one of the Sharks players, you're listening and watching. No matter where you may be, we thank you for watching X League football on South, southlandsportstv.com. It's a different brand of arena football. A lot of gimmicks, a lot of uh, interesting ways to score. It's, it's a lot of fun. If you're in the Birmingham area watching this game, you need to come out here and support this team. They play an outstanding and exciting brand of football. Okay, here we go. The Outlaws from their own 15. Shotgun formation. Taylor's his fullback. Marcellus Wilder, his wide out to the right. Toreen Retta, his wide out to the left. Sutton back to pass. He's going to throw a long bomb, and it's caught. Touchdown, Marcellus Wilder, his second of the game. Wow. Just like that on one play, he beat his defender and scored another touchdown. And that is his 10th touchdown reception. And he's the lead, leading receiver, Marcellus Wilder. And it's 20 Alabama with a minute to go. Yeah. 
And let's see, we have a delay a game or we have a timeout. We have a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout as well. It's 29 to 12, Alabama. You're watching and listening to Alabama Outlaws X League football on SouthlandSportsTV.com. Here's Chris Campbell with the extra point. And what do we have? We have another timeout. Okay, here we go. Chris Campbell with another extra point attempt. He's one for three on the night. He, he, oh, bad snap. Bad snap, and the holder picks it up. He throws it. It's a touchdown. No, it's a two-point conversion. Oh, my goodness. I believe the holder is Garrett Sutphin. He bobbed, it was a bad snap. He bought, he picked up the snap and he rolled out and threw it and it was caught by number 55, Gerard Jones for the touchdown. Excuse me, the two point conversion. So it's 31 to 12. The Alabama Outlaws score on a broken play and instead of getting one point, they do get two. Sutphin, the holder, Picked up the bad snap. Not enough time to, to put the ball down for Campbell to kick it. So Sutphin rolled to his right and threw it into the end zone, and it was caught by Gerard Jones. So just like that, it's 31 to 12, Alabama, with a minute to go in the first half. And the Alabama Outlaws really playing some good football, both offensively and defensively, defensively, if they can just keep their poise and cut down on the penalties. Chris Campbell about to kick it off. Low line drive, and it bounces, and it's, it goes out of bounds. And I believe the ball is going to be put. Let's see where they put the ball. Ball's going to be placed at the about the three-yard line. So the Atlanta Sharks start out in a big hole at their own three-yard line with 57 seconds to go. For a team that doesn't belong to a league, for a team that has just gotten together maybe recently, maybe in the last week or so, they've hung in there pretty well. Hendrick Clark, the quarterback. He's in shotgun formation. He fakes the handoff. He runs it out of the end zone. And he is pushed back by a host of outlaws. And let's see how much forward progress they're going to give him. Not much at all. Well, not much at all. Really. Maybe the ball's at the four-yard line. He may have gotten a yard out of that, but not much. So we'll call it second and nine from the four for Atlanta. This Alabama defense has been stout the last few weeks. So here we go, second down. Here's Clark back to throw. He's going to throw a long pass. It is intercepted. Intercepted. This is Adam Flanagan. Adam Fl with his second interception of the night. And Flanagan's going to go all the way and score. Touchdown, Alabama. Adam Flanagan, his second interception of the night. He runs it all the way back for six. And because of the, because of the interception, there is a penalty flag on the play, however. Let's see. Illegal 
block in the back. That's on Gerard, that's on Gerard Jones. Nullify the touchdown. But the Outlaws do get one point because of the interception itself. Remember, any defensive play gives the defensive team a point. A sack, a recovered fumble, an interception. That team gets a point. We're going to take a break. It's 32 to 12, Alabama. You're watching and listening to Alabama Outlaws football on SouthlandSportsTV.com.
Atlanta, 32 to 12. Very exciting game, very good game, very good first half for the Alabama Outlaws. Let's recap the scoring for you. For in the first half, Alabama first got won the X dash, so they got two points to start off with. The uh, Atlanta Sharks marched the ball down the field, down to the four yard line, but were unable to score. And then on Alabama's first possession, uh, it was Garrett Sutfin to Taran Taran Retta for their first touchdown to make it uh, nine nothing. The extra point was no good, but the uh, Alabama Outlaws were on the board nine nothing. Then. Um, the Atlanta Sharks were unable to do anything with it. There was an interception by Anna, Adam Flanagan. Adam Flanagan got the interception, and the Sharks, excuse me, the Alabama Outlaws marched it down the field once again, and Garrett Sutfin scored on a keeper from 10 yards out to make it uh, 16 to nothing. But again, the extra point was no good by Chris Campbell. And so we moved... So on the, the Atlanta Sharks next possession their quarter, their quarterback Hendrick Flark excuse me um, they were able to move it down the field thanks to a n big run by the running back the run uh, the running back AJ Jones he ran it for about 30 yards all the way deep into Alabama territory and a couple of plays later Hendrick Clark the quarterback ran it in for the Sharks first touchdown making it 16 to 6 they went for two did not get it so the score was 16 to 6. Then the next score was by Alabama. And that score was another touchdown pass by Garrett Sutphin. This one to Marcellus Wilder, catching his ninth touchdown of the rece touchdown reception of the season. The uh, extra point was good this time, making it 23 to 6 Alabama. Then the Atlanta Sharks were able to get another touchdown as they marched it down the field and there was an unsportsmanlike call against Alabama against Tracy Brooks and the Sharks were able to take advantage of that as as Hendrick Clark was able to score making it 23 to 12 that their two point conversion was no good but at that point it was 23 12 Alabama and then another interception by Adam Flanagan later on in the half gave Alabama the ball back and they were able to score as Marcellus Wilder caught his second touchdown of the game his 10th of the season and that's where we stand right now 32 to 12 here at halftime as the halftime clock clock excuse me the halftime clock runs down with about 33 3 minutes 35 seconds to go in halftime they this is breast cancer awareness night they are honoring uh, a lot of people who have survived cancer, who have survived breast cancer. Uh, and we have somebody singing right now at halftime here. As you can probably see, a lot of people dressed in pink, remembering those who died of this dreadful disease and those who are still surviving, and also celebrating the survival and the recovery rate, the recovery of those who have recovered from breast cancer. And everybody dressed out in pink, even the Alabama players have pink leggings. Their face masks are pink. So being it is uh, being that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Night here in Birmingham, actually nationwide it is um, Relay for Life weekend, and we got a lot of Relay for Life uh, um, things going on all over the country. And right here in Birmingham is one going on here being being breast cancer awareness night here in Birmingham your score at halftime the Alabama Outlaws 32 the Atlanta Sharks 12 being that the Sharks don't have a league to call their home they are not a member of any league at all there are a bunch of guys that got together the coach got their they they've hired a coach and they're looking for a league to play in they don't have a facility at the moment to call home so they're having to travel all the country basically and play teams in the X League and perhaps other uh, other indoor get some practice some game experience and uh, be in considering that they don't have a league to call their home they've been much more competitive than were the Savannah Steam who are in the league uh, as you may recall a couple of weeks ago right here in Birmingham 
the Alabama Outlaws absolutely throttled the Savannah Steam, who used to be the Pennsylvania Steam, 82-8. to And Alabama coach Lee Ellison told me earlier today that he expected a more competitive game than what the Steam brought two weeks ago, and he was right. Uh, the, Al the Savannah is... Atlanta Sharks, saying Savannah, the Atlanta Sharks had a chance to score early in the first quarter. They got the ball to the Alabama four-yard line, but the Alabama defense rose up and stopped them on downs and turned away the Atlanta Sharks early in that game. A big momentum swing there, and Alabama was able to move on from there. So, so far so good for the Alabama Outlaws. 32-12 score. They lead at halftime, and Garrett Sutfin, who came into this game leading the X League in passing yardage, throwing for having thrown for four, 587 yards, coming into this game he was 41 out of 82, 587 yards, 11 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. In this game here, he has already thrown for two touchdowns, and he has rushed for one. So, good night by Garrett Sutfin, the UNC Pembroke product. And we wait to see what the second half will bring as we count down halftime here, four seconds, three seconds. And I want to thank you, all of you, no matter, again, I keep saying this, but it's true. We appreciate all of you who tune in, who are watching the X League, no matter where you are, if you're in the Birmingham area or the Atlanta area, you're watching around the nation. You're watching around the world on SouthForceTV.com. Perhaps you're in the military and you love arena football. Maybe you have some friends that play in the X League. Maybe you have some friends that friends or relatives on the Alabama or Atlanta teams. We want to thank you for tuning in tonight. This is a great brand of arena football. You're probably used to the AFL with the, the Georgia Force or the Tampa Bay Storm. Uh, that, uh, that, of course, that's the highest level of arena football. But this is a lot of fun in that there's a lot of ways to get points, uh, especially uh, with a minute to go in the game. You have what's they bring in what's called the X ball. They bring in a new ball, and everything is double. If you score a touchdown, it's not six points; it's 12 points. If you score an extra point, it's not one point; it's two points. If you get a two-point conversion, it's not two points; it's four points. So if you're trailing by 16, 17 points with a minute to go in the game, you still have a chance to win. And so it makes it very, very exciting. You're never out of it. Uh, you know, if you if you can keep within 16 points or so, you're within striking st striking distance. You can still win the ball game, even if heck, even if you're, you know, if you got 10 if there are 10, t 10 seconds to go in the game, you're down by 16 points. You can still win. All you need is a long touchdown pass and a two point conversion. And uh, being that a touchdown is 12 points, that. Uh, you know, that, that, can, that can put you ahead. So you're never out of it. We're going to take a two-minute timeout. You're watching Alabama Outlaws X-League football here on SouthlandSportsTV.com.
We're about ready to start the second half here in Birmingham, Alabama. The Alabama Outlaws, the Atlanta Sharks, 32-12. to Glad that you could join us, listening friend, no matter where you are in the world, watching and listening on SouthlandSportsTV.com. It's been a very entertaining game, and even though the score is 32-12, to the Atlanta Sharks have put up a good fight here in this game, and we expect nothing less from them in the second half. So it should be an exciting second half of football here in the Bill Harris Arena. You're watching and listening to X-League Arena Football on SouthlandSportsTV.com. The Alabama Outlaws play basically an exhibition game. The Atlanta is not a member of the uh, X-League. In fact, they're not a member of any league. At all. They don't have a home facility to, to play in. So they have to uh, teams or tra travel to places around the country. They've probably been playing other X-League teams, uh, teams. Here's the kickoff to start the second half by Casper Jefferson. The ball bounces. It's picked, and it's uh, picked up by, let's see, this is uh, Tracy Brooks, and he's going to run it all the way to the 10-yard line of Atlanta. Nice uh, return there by Tracy Brooks. He picked the ball up on a bounce and was able to run it all the way to almost the 10-yard line. Let's see where the ref puts it. About the 13. So right away, the Alabama outlaw with outstanding put some more on the board. And it's 13-12. Outlaw is ready to uh, extend the lead here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the Atlanta Sharks can bow up defensively or is Alabama going to be able to put another touchdown up. Here we go. Garrett Sutphin, the starting quarterback out of North Carolina Pembroke. He's under center. Sutphin going to throw into the flat, and it's caught. That's caught by number 20, Rob Taylor, and immediately he is wrapped up. Nice defense there and a Sharks. Nice defense by the Sharks. P.J. Thomas on the stop. So it's going to be second and maybe maybe eight. They may have gotten two yards out of that. Actually, probably a yard. I'd say second and nine. Second and nine from the 12. Sudfin in shotgun formation. He's got Retta to his left. Taylor, the fullback, to his right. He fakes the handoff. He throws into the end zone, broken up nicely, or is it intercepted? No, it's been, it was broken up by number 38 of Atlanta. Very nice defensive play. Trying to see who that is. That's Gary Williams with the breakup. Very good defensive play there by the Sharks. Third down. Third down and nine. Of course, in arena football, it's practically third and goal. Let's oh, let's see here. We got a penalty. We have a penalty. I didn't see who it was on, but the ball has been pushed back to the twenty-yard line. So now it's going to make it oh, second and sixteen. So penalty against the Alabama Alabamas. Pushes the ball back to the I could take that back. It was intercepted. Intercepted by Gary Williams. And oh my goodness. Bad snap. And Kendrick Clark, the quarterback for Atlanta, picked it up. And he basically was wrapped up. And he was wrapped up there by number 16 for Alabama. I believe that's Courtney Daly with the tackle. I thought that was a deflected pass. That was actually an interception. That was an interception by Gary Williams of Atlanta. So Alabama turns the ball over. First turnover of the night. First interception for Sutton. Second down for Atlanta. Clark going to throw. His man, it's Winston Johnson, across the 15, down to a... The Atlanta Sharks moving the football. This team is, has potent weapons on offense. So the Atlanta Sharks in business at the Alabama 12-yard line. 
11 minutes to go in the third quarter. And by the way, Atlanta got a point for that interception. It's now 32 to 13. Here we go, first and 10 from the 12 for Atlanta. Clark, he runs it, he runs it across the 10, across the five, and into the end zone. Yes, touchdown. Touchdown Atlanta, nice run by quarterback Hendrick Clark. He fights his way to the end zone, he gets into the end zone, and touchdown for the Atlanta Sharks. The team in favor of Alabama an injured player for Alabama in a timeout. Let's see who the injured player is. Already had one injury tonight. Don't need another one. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're watching X League Football on SouthlandSportsTV.com. We're back here at the Bill Harris Arena. The Alabama Outlaws lead the Atlanta Sharks 32 to 19, but the Sharks are poised. Actually, no, I take that back. The Sharks just scored a touchdown, making it 32 to 19, and they're gonna go for the two-point conversion. Here's Clark's throw. He's gonna throw it in the end zone, it's caught. Touchdown, or I should say the two-point conversion is good. He got his man, that's number 38, Gary Williams, with the two-point reception, and it is now 32 to 21, and we have ourselves a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. The Atlanta Sharks have roared back to within 11 points of the Outlaws, and just as Outlaws coach Lee Ellison said, it is a much more competitive game than what we saw two weeks ago against the Savannah Steam. And Hendrick Clark, the Atlanta quarterback has done a great job throwing and running the football, getting his team in position to perhaps take the lead and maybe win this game. A lot of time left here in the third quarter. A lot of time left in this game. 10.05 to go in the third quarter. We do have an injury to report. Gerard Jones of Alabama um, was injured on the touchdown play but he, he walked off to the locker room on his own power. Certainly hope he's okay. That's the second injury tonight. Actually, the third injury tonight for Alabama. Fortunately, none of them appeared very serious. So here's Casper Jefferson to kick it off for the Atlanta Sharks. They now trail 32-21. to 21. Low line drive and it is picked up by Rob Taylor. Taylor gonna bring it out, he's gonna break a long one. He's down to the 20 yard line of Atlanta. Nice run back by Rob Taylor. Rob Taylor, the fullback, who doubles as a linebacker. He's out of Addison High School in Addison, Alabama. And so just like that, the Alabama Outlaws Ready to get back, ready to put some more points on the board and re-extend the lead. And do we have a timeout? No timeout, or we do have a time, no, no timeout, I'm sorry. 9.15 to go in the third quarter. 
Alabama leads Atlanta 32 to 21. The Atlanta Sharks coming into this game not involved or not affiliated with any league. They just formed their team recently. And for a team that has just gotten together, they're playing extremely well. First and 10 from the 20 of Atlanta is Alabama. And we have a fumbled snap. And it's, it's a turnover. It is recovered. Recovered by the Sharks. And I believe number 44, Orlando Norman of Atlanta, recovered the football. So, an so another turnover by Alabama. And the Sharks are right back in this thing. And we do have another injured player for Alabama. My goodness. Let's see who the injured player is. I've just been told it's number 69. That is Robert Stevens. He is a defensive lineman and also an old an O lineman. He's actually the center on the offensive line. He is uh, 6'2", 340 pounds out of Miles College here in Birmingham. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, you don't want to, we've already had three injuries tonight. He looks like he's all right. And yeah, he's all right. He's waving his fist in the, hand, in the air. He takes his helmet off. He's walking off under his own power. He looks to be just, looks to be okay. They'll take him off to the locker room for precautionary measures just to see, make sure everything's all right. Very physical game tonight, very chippy game at times. And by the way, the Atlanta Sharks get a, get a point off that play. They recovered a fumble, and if you make a defensive play, your team gets a point, so it's now 32 to 22. And on top of that, the Sharks have the football, and they have the ball at their own 19-yard line. Here's Clark in shotgun formation. Clark, back to pass. Throws, it's incomplete. He tried to get it to number eight, Winston John, but the throw was low. Good coverage there by Alabama. So it's going to be second and 10 from the 19-yard line. This game was 23-6 to Alabama. But all of a sudden here, the Atlanta Sharks have roared back to within 10 and have the football. Here's Clark in shotgun. Clark's going to fake a throw. Now he's going to run to his right. He's going to escape. He's going to grow across the, the across the 20 and ran, roughed, ran in. He was run into the boards really hard. And, and let's see. Do we have a penalty? I don't see a flag, but the flag may be up against the boards. Let's see. Coach James, the coach of the Sharks, giving instruction to his quarterback, Hendrick Clark. And my, wow, look at this. This is a, it was a penalty against Alabama. Tough to see who the penalty was on. Probably unnecessary rough, uh, unnecessary roughness against the uh, Alabama Outlaws. So the ball is at the Alabama 15-yard line, and the Sharks are poised to score another touchdown. Clark back to throw. He throws into the end zone off the hands of the receiver Winston Johnson. Nice play there by the defensive back for Alabama. Play ball and. It, and uh, it changed the trajectory where Johnson was not able to reel it in. Nice play by Brooks on that play. It's going to be second down from the Alabama 15. But you can see that this Atlanta Shark team has a very potent offense. And if they were in the X League, and they might be some at someday, they might be. They they could cause some problems for some teams. Here's oh a bad snap, but Clark picks it up. Clark rolls to his right. He throws. It's it throws out of bounds. The ball goes over the wall in the end zone. So it's going to be third down. Alabama, 
Actually, it's fourth down, excuse me. And Marcus James, the head coach of the Atlanta Sharks, giving instructions to his quarterback, Hendrick Clark. Justin Geithner started the game, but after an interception, they brought Clark in, and Clark has gone the whole way since. Fourth down, ball at the 15-yard line of Alabama. Outlaws trying to looking for a stop. Here's Clark. He rolls, he, he moves, he moves, he throws. And it's caught, touchdown. He threw a high ball, and it was caught in the back of the end zone by Winston Johnson. Touchdown, Atlanta. And just like that, the Atlanta Sharks have cut the lead to four. It's 32-28 Alabama, two-point attempt pending. Wow, this Atlanta Shark team has really put on a tremendous offensive display here, showing that they've got a lot of talent. Boy, they're probably wishing they were members of the X League right now. If they were, they would give a lot of the X-League teams a lot of problems, just as they're giving Alabama problems tonight. Here's the two-point conversion. Clark going to run it, and he is wrapped up and stopped, and he is kept out of the end zone. Nice defensive play there. That's number 16. The roster says Courtney Daly, number 16. And he keeps... Hendrick Clark out of the end zone. The two-point conversion is no good. So the score remains 32-28, Alabama with 4.40 to go in the third quarter. But the Atlanta Sharks seem to have the momentum. They have roared all the way back to within four points. And the Alabama Outlaws are going to have to get their offense in gear and get going here to try and put some more points on the board and get some stops. They've got to stop this, this potent high-powered Atlanta Shark offense. A win tonight is not going to come easy for Alabama. And Lee Ellison, the head coach of the Outlaws, was right. This game is much more competitive than two weeks ago when the Alabama Outlaws absolutely put the Savannah Steam on ice 82-8. to Not tonight. The Sharks have taken a big bite out of the Outlaws here in the second half. It's 32-28, Alabama over Atlanta, but the Sharks are right back in this. So we await the kickoff from Casper Jefferson. His kick, there's his kick, and it goes over the boards on the 10-yard line. Let's see where the refs put it. Kickoff goes out of bounds. In the NFL, if you kick a ball out of bounds, it goes to the 35-yard line. Let's see where they uh, put the ball. Again, a lot of, a lot of strange, what, what, a lot of different rules in the X League. What a lot of people might find strange, but you know, it makes the league a lot of fun. It makes this kind of brand of arena football a lot of fun, knowing that you're never out of it if you're the losing team. If you're within 16 points and you're with with one minute in the game, they bring in the X ball. A touchdown, a touchdown is not six points; it's 12. Extra point, not one; it's two. Two point conversion, not two; it's four. A field goal is not three points; it's six. So, if you can keep yourselves within striking distance, within at least 16 points, you've got a chance to win. The Atlanta Sharks have more than a chance to win. It's they only trail by four. Okay, Alabama has the football at their own 15-yard line. Sutfin, back to throw. He's going to throw a long bomb. He's got his man. Touchdown! Touchdown! Couldn't see who it was initially here. The, the reset touchdown, here he is. It's Taron Retta. Taron Retta with his second touchdown of the night. And the Alabama Outlaws are back up by 10 points, 38-28. Beautiful long throw by Garrett Sutphin. Teron Retta got behind his man and scored an easy touchdown pass. It's now 38-28 Alabama, extra point pending. 
It's been an adventure for Chris Campbell tonight. He's missed two extra points. So let's hope he can get this one. And let's see, they're discussing something. Wow, just like that, the Alabama Outlaws have responded with a touchdown of about, oh, 40 yards or so. So we await the extra point attempt. Here's the snap. Here's the hold. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Chris Campbell tacks on the extra point. It's 39-28 Alabama, minute 56 to go in the third quarter. We'll take a break. You're watching and listening to X League Football on SouthlandSportsTV.com. Back here in Birmingham, Alabama, where the Alabama Outlaws have just scored to make it 39-28. Here's the kickoff from Chris Campbell. It's taken in the end zone by the Sharks. And look at this, number 43 of Atlanta runs it all the way down to the 12-yard line of Alabama. My goodness. That's Pinterest Denham with the run back. Very nice run back. It's back and forth here in the second half, folks. The Atlanta Sharks scored to make it 32-28 Alabama. But just but right away, Garrett Sutphin and the offense were able to put another seven point another eight points on the board, or seven points on the board. A long touchdown pass to Teron Redup. Sutphin now has thrown for four touchdown passes tonight. He's run for one. But just like this. The Sharks are in business. They have the ball at the Alabama 12. Here's Hendrick Clark. He gives it to his running back. That's Denham, Pentres Denham. And he runs it down to about the six-yard line. So it's going to be, let's see, second and goal from the, I want to say the seven, maybe the seven-yard line. 23 seconds to go in the third quarter. Alabama leads 39-28, but once again, Atlanta is knocking at the door. Let's see if they're going to get a playoff here before the quarter ends. Here's Clark. He's going to run it. Clark runs it inside the five. And the clock is going to run down to zeros into the third quarter. And let's see what we got here. We have a penalty? No. No, there's no penalty. Timeout. End of the third quarter. End of the third quarter. Your score, Alabama Outlaws 39, the Atlanta Sharks 28. You're watching X-League Football on SouthlandSportsTV.com.
We're back. We, we're back for the start of the fourth quarter. Here's Clark's pass into the end zone. It's incomplete. It's the beginning of the fourth quarter with Alabama up 39-28 on the Atlanta Sharks, but the Atlanta Sharks are poised to score again here. They have the ball at the five-yard line. This is a team that does not belong to any league. They were thrown together recently. They're looking for a home facility. They're, they would like to join a league, and they'd probably like to join the X League. And considering all of that, they are playing extremely well. Okay, second down and goal from the five. And let's see, we, we got a false start. Penalty. Let's see what the official says. It's a false start against Atlanta. That moves the ball back to the 10. So a sort of a momentum breaker there for Atlanta. They get a five-yard penalty. That moves the ball back from the five back to the 10. So it's going to be second and goal from the 10 now. Hendrick Clark, the quarterback. A.J. Jones is running back to his left. And another, another false start, it looks like. So all of a sudden here, Atlanta self-destructing. And the referee is pointing at uh, one of the pointing in the direction of Atlanta as if to say somebody moved. But let's see. False. False start. False start against Atlanta. And now the ball's back at the 15 yard line. So Atlanta moving backwards. Just when they were about to score, possibly, they had the ball at Alabama's five yard line. Two false start penalties have moved the ball back to the 15. Head coach Marcus James cannot be pleased. His, his arms folded as he stands along the, si along the boards, on the sidelines. Here we go. Second and goal now from the 15. Hendrick Clark, the quarterback. He rolls to his right, and he has nowhere to go, and he's going to throw it off his back foot. It's, not, it's intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone. Trying to see who the intercept, who made the interception. He basically threw that ball up for grabs. He was under pressure, and that's number 11. Number 11, Byron James with the interception. James, a 6'3", 200-pounder from Jacksonville State. And to me, he makes a big, huge play for the Alabama Outlaws. The Atlanta Sharks had the momentum. They had the ball at Alabama's five-yard line, but two false start penalties pushed him back to the 15, and then some excellent defensive work there by Alabama. Hendrick Clark, the Atlanta quarterback, was under pressure. He threw off his back foot, basically threw that ball up for grabs. It was tipped in the air and intercepted by Byron James, and now Alabama's going to have the ball at their own 20-yard line. What a backbreaker for Atlanta as they were trying to score to cut the lead to four points again, but instead an interception gives the ball back to Alabama and gives Alabama an extra point. Remember, any interception or fumble recovery or sack gives your team a point if you're on defense. So it is now 40 to 28 with 12, 26 to go in the game. Alabama in the lead and Alabama has the football and they are in no hurry. They're gonna try and run time off the clock if they can. Or perhaps they may continue to be aggressive and try and score. Here's Sutphin back to pass. He throws a long pass, it's incomplete. Looked like there might have been pass interference there on number 43 of, of uh, Atlanta. The intended receiver was Marcellus Wilder. He's had a big night. He has Let's see, he has two touchdown receptions tonight. Ball was incomplete, so it's going to be second down from the 20-yard line. 11.37 to go. Alabama in the lead, 40-28. to 28. For all of you watching 
on SouthlandSportsTV.com. We thank you for tuning in tonight. Second down and 10 from the 20. Sutphin back to pass. Sutphin rolls to his right. Sutphin going to run, roll, run up. Now he's going to throw. Pass is incomplete. He was trying to get Wilder again in the end zone. Nice defensive play there. That was uh, number 28 for Atlanta. That was P.J. Thomas. P.J. Thomas with a nice defensive play. It's going to be third down and 10. Remember now, Atlanta's down by only 12 points. So with a minute to go in the game, if they have the football and the score still stays as it is, a touchdown ties the game. In other words, this game's not over, folks. This game is far from over. Here we go. Third down and 10 from the 20 for Alabama. Sutphin going to throw. Oh, off the hands of Teron Retta. Retta should have caught that ball. That's an incomplete pass. He had it right in his bread basket. Had it right in his chest. Bounced off his chest. Got to look the ball in and catch it with your hands. And that's a costly drop there by Teron Retta. And I believe the ball turns over on downs. Let's see. Nine forty-seven to go. Clock is ticking. Okay, actually, that was third. That was third down. This must be fourth down. Fourth down for Alabama. They're going to try a field goal. They're going to try a. 45-yard field goal, it looks like. Ball is placed. Oh, we got a penalty. We got a delay of game, it looks like. Let's see. Sutton talking with the referee. Or is it against, uh, against Atlanta? Let's see what the call is. Not sure exactly what he said. I can't, couldn't make it out there. Well, Alabama keeps the ball. So uh, they're going to try a 45-yard field goal. Ball is placed at the 12. Chris Campbell going to try and knock down a 45-yard field goal. He's missed two extra points already tonight. Here's the kick. It's up. It is no good. Wide to the right. And wow. Look at this. Atlanta is going to have the ball at the 12-yard line of Alabama. And a missed field goal gives Atlanta another point. So it's 40-29, to 29, Alabama. We do have a timeout on the field. And we're going to keep going. We're going to keep it right here. There are two other games tonight in the X League. Unfortunately, we don't have score updates for you. If we can get them, we certainly will. As our game is going on right now, the Georgia Rampage are playing the Savannah Steam tonight at Savannah. And the St. Louis Attack are at the Florida Marine Raiders. Okay, here we go. The ball, Atlanta has the ball at the Alabama 20. Clark back to throw. He's going to throw it into the end zone. And we got a, what, we got a tie or an interception? Or is it incomplete? It looked like both the receiver and the defender had their hands on the football. It's a touchdown. <laughs> it is a touchdown. Trying to see who caught that ball. It looked like both receivers, both the defender and the receiver, had their hands on the football. And I guess tie goes to the receiver. So it's a touchdown for Atlanta. It's 40 to 35, Alabama. 
And now the Sharks are going to go for two. They don't have a field goal kicker. Clark, he's going to roll to his left. He's going to run to his left. He's not going to get there. He's going to be wrapped up by a ho oh, oh, we got a, we got a, we got a. Wow, looked like number 25 for Atlanta threw a punch against uh, against Byron James of Alabama. And fortunately for Atlanta, no penalty was called there. Number 29 for the Atlanta Sharks, A.J. Jones sort of uh, mixing it up with Byron James of Alabama. But uh, no, penalty, no flag called, no flag thrown. Two-point conversion is no good, so Alabama gets the ball back. Or actually, they're gonna, uh, Atlanta is going to kick off to Alabama. 40-35. to 35. The Outlaws have a slim five-point lead. It was 23-6. to 6. And at one time, at halftime, it was 32-12. to 12. But the Atlanta Sharks have outscored the Outlaws 23-8 to 8 in this second half. This game obviously far from over, 6.45 to go in the game. Really got to hand it to the Atlanta Sharks, a team basically just starting, just forming, not part of any league, a travel team basically, came in here and have given, every, given the Outlaws everything they can handle and then some. Okay, here's the kickoff. It's run out of the end zone by Rob Taylor. Wow, Rob Taylor won ran right over number 44, Orlando Norman. He laid the wood to Mr. Norman. He, he knocked Mr. Norman into Mississippi. Wow, what a play there by Rob Taylor. He runs it out of the end zone and runs over Orlando Norman. Welcome to the X League, Mr. Norman, says Rob Taylor. And we do have a penalty flag. Let's see what the call is. Wow, what a play there by Rob Taylor. Introducing Orlando Norman to X-League football. Okay, here we go. First and 10 for Alabama from the 23, from their own 23. Sutfin in Shotgun formation. He's back to pass. Sutfin over the middle. Inter almost intercepted. Should have been intercepted. Oh, and number 38 for Atlanta knows it too. Rashad Tukes had that ball right in his bread basket, and Sutfin got away with one there. Very fortunate. He was thinking touchdown before the catch, I think, Rashad Tukes was. He saw the goal line and six points before he saw the ball, perhaps. So Alabama gets a break. It's second and 10, 4.50 to go in the game. They're up 40 to 35. And now T Rob Taylor, slightly in front of Sutphin. Now Sutphin gets the ball, he hands it off to Marcellus Wilder, and Wilder runs it up to the 20, where he is wrapped up along the boards. You probably think the Alabama Outlaws are going to probably try and keep the ball on the ground as much as possible, but then again, you really can't do that in arena football and and be extremely successful. Touchdowns are scored mainly on the pass. And Sutphin, by the way, I believe has five touchdown passes tonight. So the ball is spotted at the 21-yard the 21 yard line of Atlanta. They are in Atlanta territory, is Alabama. Sutton back to pass. He throws. It's caught. Marcellus Wilder with a catch. And he's got the ball at the 14-yard line. And so Alabama extend Alabama moving the football to just beyond the, barely beyond the 15 yard line. Clock is running, 323, 320. Outlaws taking their time. 
in no hurry here trying to run clock. And remember, with one minute to go in the game, they bring in the X ball and everything doubles. Touchdowns, extra points, field goals. Here we go. Second down from the 15. Sutphin back to pass, rolls to his right, going to throw into the end zone. It's incomplete. He was trying for Wilder, but it was high and over the, the end zone boards. So it's going to be third down. Third down for Alabama. Once again, we thank all of you, no matter where you're tuning in, where you're listening from and watching, we thank all of you for watching X League Arena Football here on SouthlandSportsTV.com. And if you're in the Birmingham area, you need to come out and support this team. This Alabama Outlaw team plays exciting football, exciting an exciting brand of X League Arena Football. They're in second place in the X League, trailing St. Louis by one game. Although this is not a league game, the Alabama Outlaws obviously are treating it like that, and they are in a dogfight. The Atlanta Sharks want to show the nation that they belong, and they want to show that they belong in the X League. They'd like to join it. Okay, here we go. Sutton back to pass. He's going to throw into the end zone. Touchdown! Marcellus Wilder, another touchdown reception. And Alabama extends its lead to 46-35. Still not out of danger, though, because with, if, you're, if you're trailing by 16 points, with a minute to go, a touchdown gives you 12 points. All of a sudden, you're only down by four. So it's 46-35. Alabama has an 11-point lead now. Beautiful throw from Sutfin to Marcellus Wilder, and the league's leading receiver catches his, uh, I believe, his fourth or fourth touchdown of the night. Okay, one minute. Here we go. One minute left in the game. They're going to bring in the X ball. Now, we're going to take a break. You're watching X League Football on SouthlandSportsTV.com.
We're back here at Bill Harris Arena in Birmingham, Alabama, where the Alabama Outlaws have just scored to make it 46-35. And uh, let's see, are they going to go for two? With a minute to go, a two-point conversion is that would actually be four points. Yes, they're going to go for two. The, they, br they bring in the X-League ball with a minute to go in the game. Here's Sutfin. He rolls to his right and throws into the end zone. Broken up nicely by Atlanta. That's uh, number 38, Gary Williams, with the breakup. And so the four-point conversion is no good. And look at this. A minute to go. The Atlanta Sharks are only down by 11. A touchdown would put them in the lead. Remember, with the X-ball, a touchdown is not six points. It's 12 points. An extra point is not one point. It's two points. A two-point conversion is not two, it's four. Well, you get the drift. So if you're within six, if you're within 16 points with a minute to go in the fourth quarter in the game, you have a great chance of winning. You've got a chance to win still. In fact, Alabama won with just seconds on the clock, trailing the Georgia Rampage by 13 points way back on March the 1st, the first game in X League history the first one that we broadcasted here on SouthlandSportsTV.com. And they brought in the X-Ball, and Alabama scored with just seconds left to give the Alabama Outlaws a 44-43 a win over the Georgia Rampage. And ever since then, the two teams have gone in opposite directions. The Rampage have yet to win a game, and Alabama is 3-1 and one in X-League play. If they win tonight, they'll be 4-1 and one overall. This game does not count towards the X-League because the Sharks are not a member of the X-League. And you can really, really tip your hat to the Sharks. They come in here, a team recently thrown together, a team very recently formed. They're not a member of any league. They're a travel team, basically, looking for a place to play. And they come in here, have given the Outlaws everything they can handle and then some and still have a chance to win this game. And look at this, the kickoff. They allow the kickoff to go all the way into the end zone. It's finally picked up by uh, number 43 of Atlanta. That was Pinterest Denham. He, down, he basically downs it in the uh, end zone. So it's going to be... Ball should be out. To, is going to go out to the 20 of Atlanta. The Sharks have the ball at their own 20-yard line with 59 seconds to go. They trail 46 to 35. Can Alabama hold the Atlanta Sharks, or will Atlanta escape here with a win over an ex-league team? We'll see. First down and 10 from their own 20. Hendrick Clark. In shotgun, back to pass. Clark, oh my goodness! That should have been an interception by Rob Taylor. Rob Taylor playing, dropped it. He had it right in his hands and just dropped it. Wow, what a break for the Atlanta Sharks. That most certainly should have been an interception. We've seen two tonight now. One that Atlanta should have had. They drop, and now... Actually, two drops, two, two intercept, two Alabama dropped two interceptions. It should have been interceptions. Okay, low snap, Clark with the football. He throws a long pass. It's caught. No, it's not. Great defensive play. Great defensive play there by Adam Flanagan. He has had a great night tonight. Rashad Tukes had the ball in his hands as he was crossing the goal just as he was about to cross the goal line. But Adam Flanagan knocked the ball out of his hands for an incomplete pass. Defensive play of the game. He's had two interceptions tonight, but th that play perhaps none bigger than the play he just made earlier. We got a timeout on the field. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it right here, though. What a game we've seen here, folks, tonight. Tremendous game. Lee Ellison was more than correct when he said he expected this to be a much more competitive game. I don't think he expected it to be this competitive, perhaps. But 
It certainly has been that, that and then some. Two weeks ago, the Alabama Outlaws absolutely mauled the Savannah Steam, 82 to eight. Savannah used to be the Pennsylvania Steam. They were, the week of that game, they were bought out by a, uh, a group from Savannah and were just totally overmatched by Alabama. But here's a team, the Atlanta Sharks, not a, not a member of the X League, not a member of any league. They come in here and they're giving Alabama more than, uh, they're giving Alabama fits. And we have a, uh, let's see. But the Alabama Outlaws have played well. They played well tonight against the talented, talented Shark team. Sudfin has been solid. Marcellus Wilder has continued his work catching passes and catching touchdowns. The defense has been solid. Of course, the defensive players like Rob Taylor and uh, one of the, the other player who dropped an interception, both which they had those interceptions back. But with 48 seconds to go, and the X ball in play, this game is far from over. Here we go. Here's a long pass from Clark. And it is intercepted. Or is it? Let's see. No, it was knocked away. Good defensive play there by the Alabama Outlaws. So 40 seconds to go. It's going to be third down. The Sharks have two more chances here. They don't necessarily have to go for it all on, on, on this play. There's a, there, 40 seconds is enough time. But here we go. Third and ten. Clark back to pass. Clark rolls to his right. He's going to be sacked. And, oh, no, he laterals the ball off to number 46. Excuse me, number 29. Or are they going to rule him down? Are they going to rule Clark down? Well, Robert, uh, Michael Calvin is celebrating. Are they going to rule Hendrick Clark down? In other words, was Hendrick Clark sacked before he pitched the ball off? It's going to be a sack against, uh, it's going to be a sack for Alabama. And the ball goes over on downs. It's going to be Alabama football with 34 seconds left. And they get two points. A sack gives you two points. So just before Hendrick Clark released the football, he was brought down. That's what they're saying. It's now 48 to 35. At least I think that's how it went. It, unless, unless Alabama gets two points for, for stopping... Uh, Atlanta on third down on the last down. At any rate, it's a defensive stop for Alabama. It gives them two points and the football with 34 seconds left. And unless, unless Alabama turns it over, unless there's a fumble or an interception, it looks like the Alabama Outlaws are going to get out of here with a victory. A well-earned victory against a very game Atlanta Sharks team. So first and, first and 10 from the Sharks 20. 34 seconds to go. It's 48-35. Alabama. Sutfin. Looking. He throws over the middle. It's dropped. Just out of the reach of Wilder. And number 28, P.J. Thomas there on the coverage. So second and second down, the clock stops, 29 seconds. You kind of wonder if maybe the Outlaws should keep the ball on the ground. But then again, that's why I'm up here and Lee Ellison is coaching. It's been a very entertaining game. 29 seconds to go, Alabama up by 13 and, and with the football. 
Here's Sutphin waiting the snap. He gets it, he hands it off to Taylor. Taylor is wrapped up by number 39 and number 43 of Atlanta. He got a couple of yards there. It's going to be a timeout. Time, uh, Atlanta calls a timeout. Pentrez Denham. Pentrez Denham and A.J. Jones on the stop for Atlanta. So a timeout here, but we're going to keep it right here. 23 seconds to go. This has been a good test for the Alabama Outlaws as they return to X-League play next week. Two other, two other X-League games going on right now. The Georgia Rampage, who are still looking for their first win, they are playing the Savannah Steam. And the St. Louis Attack are in Lakeland to take on the Florida Marine Raiders. St. Louis currently in first place at 4-0. Florida dropping two in a row. They're 2-2. Two and two. So this is an exhibition game here between Alabama Outlaws and the Atlanta Sharks. But the Sharks haven't treated it that way, and neither have the Outlaws. Okay, here we go. Now Wilder with the football. Sutphin gives it to Wilder, and he's tackled at the 12-yard line. And another timeout, it looks like, 17 seconds. Coach Marcus James of Atlanta trying to call timeouts to stop the clock. Atlanta's going to have to try and force a turnover to get the ball back. They were oh so close to taking the lead. Winston Johnson of Atlanta, the wide receiver, had the ball in his hands just before he was about to cross the goal line. And Adam Flanagan knocked the ball out of his hands. Great play by Flanagan. He has two interceptions on the night and then that big defensive play. 17 seconds to go in the game. Alabama with the football and the lead. They have the ball at the 12-yard line of Atlanta. And they are going to take a knee. And that's going to do it. It looks like, let's see. No, it's a, well, we got a penalty flag. And Alabama is pointing that Atlanta jumped off sides. William Young pointing at the uh, Alabama, the Atlanta defense. And it is offsides against Atlanta, and that's going to move the ball inside the 10-yard line. It's going to move it down to the 7. So 17 seconds to go. If Alabama can score here, that will just about do it. They're already up by 13 points. If Atlanta could get a turnover, they still have a chance. But otherwise, if Alabama can just hold on to the football, not turn it over, they're going to get the victory. Here's Sutphin, back to pass. Sutphin throws into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Teron Retta. Teron Retta with the touchdown reception, and that's going to do it. A touchdown is 12 points. It is now 60 to 35 in favor of the Alabama Outlaws. The Alabama Outlaws were in control of this game for just about all of the first half. It was 32 to 12 at halftime, but then the Atlanta Sharks outscored the Outlaws 23 to 8, making it 40 to 35 at one point in favor of the Outlaws. The Outlaws only had a five-point lead. But some big plays down the stretch by the Outlaws, both offensively and especially defensively, have helped them be able to win this ball game. Here's the extra point attempt by Campbell. It's up, it's good. So with 10 seconds to go, and remember, extra point is two points when the X ball is in play. 62-35 Alabama in the lead, 10 seconds to go in the game. 
And uh, they're going to get out of here with a victory. But the Atlanta Sharks, give them credit, a team recently formed. Again, they're not part of any league. They're not. They're not. They're a non-league side. They would like to eventually join the X League. They just need a place of their own to play. But they came in here and gave Alabama much more than they expected. But this was a good test for the Alabama Outlaws going in as they return to X League play next week. Ten seconds to go, and we await Chris Campbell's kickoff. Again, we thank all of you who are watching around the nation and around the world on SouthlandSportsTV.com. Here's the kick by Campbell. Over over the wall in the back of the end zone. Ball's going to be brought out to the, uh, I think, the 15-yard line. Solid night for several Alabama players. Garrett Sutfin, I don't have the official totals right now, but I believe he threw for five touchdowns and he ran for one. Marcellus Wilder shows why he showed tonight why he's the league's best receiver. He scored at least three touchdowns. Teron Retta really has really come on today as well. He scored three touchdowns tonight. Catching three touchdown passes. Okay, ten seconds to go. The Sharks going to try and put one more touchdown up on the board. Here's Clark. Back to pass. Throws it long. And it's intercepted. And that is icing on the cake. That will do it. The Alabama Outlaws will defeat the Atlanta Sharks 64-35. Wayne Williams, at least it, the jersey, <laughs> number six for Alabama, caught the ball. It says Williams on the back of his jersey, but I was told he was out with an injury. Nevertheless, it was intercepted by Alabama, and that's the final. Final score, Alabama 64, Atlanta 35. For, my part, for, for Patrick Glory, Tim Connor, our cameraman, Patrick Glory, our producer, I'm Ken Gustafson. Saying so long from Birmingham, Alabama, the final score, the Alabama Outlaws 64, the Atlanta Sharks 35. You've been watching and listening to X-League Football on SouthlandSportsTV.com. <laughs>